So what I have here is a, an Asus laptop and the screen is flickering. I want to show you a quick way how to fix it. Now I've already prepped this so I've removed all the screws. I'm just going to point quickly to where you're going to find them all to release them all. There is a screw underneath here with a sticker so you get a peel off the sticker and get to the screw underneath. Once you do that you can take off the cover and the battery Also a reminder, when you take off the screws, please put them in order of where you've taken them out because some are longer than the others. It's a lot more quicker. Also, once you remove the screw, you can remove the CD-ROM drive. So, okay. Now this is... Still screwed in. I'll remove the screws and put them in position. It's a hard drive. Now a lot of these ASUS laptops and even other laptops, laptops usually have this issue of the screen cutting out and what it is is mostly that the ribbon or the cable that is actually you lift up and pull. So that's a hard drive, if you want to replace your hard drive that's how it's done. Next the hard part, you want to carefully start prying this off, making sure that all the screws are undone. Use a plastic card, I'm going to use a screwdriver. What you can do is you can probably start from this side if you want to, start feeling comfortable. This side there's a fair bit of gapping where you can place a screwdriver between the uh, black plastic and slowly peeling it up. You want to be very careful at this because you don't want to break the clips. That side's fairly simple. But when you get to the other side, well, before you do that there is a small uh, ribbon here that you need to unplug. You just push it out slowly. Make sure the laptop is turned off by power. Okay, so you can start from the back, start pulling it up, prying it out, prying it out, prying it out, and be very careful you don't break any clips. Now, the front, grab a screwdriver, poke it in through the side. Twist very slowly, you hear it snap open, snap, snap, like that, and then eventually the whole case will come off. Just do it very slowly, piece by piece, don't just yank it, you don't want to break it. Now that that's off, you can see the main culprit. So as we pull into the motherboard and we've taken the case off, and a close look at this ribbon here. Now I've already gone ahead and fixed this one, but I'd noticed here that it was quite tight through the joint and that's where it opens and closes. So, right there. Putting a lot of pressure on this cable here and on the cable going into the screen. It's quite tight, so all I did was, you're going to have to free up this cable, so whichever way you have to do it. On this one here, you remove that screw that screw and this screw, you might not need to remove any screws but in case I will put it like that a little easier now I'll pop it open allowing this cable to be freed up so this cable gets a fair bit of wear you'll see it I'm assuming it's worn in here and so what I've done is I've gone ahead and pushed the cable in a fair bit and I've taken a little bit of slack from here pulled it tight across and I've replaced it back in there and pushed as much as the cable I can into that so there's less tension on the cable every time it opens and closes so I'm going to go ahead and put it all back together and that should fix your issue, same as mine. Um, now, once this is, you've tried to jiggle this cable around and given it more slack you and it still doesn't work, you'll need to remove this cable here simply by unplugging it and unplugging it from the screen and you should be able to replace that quite simply and it should solve your issue. You might want to reinforce this ribbon cable 
from motherboard to screen even with some electrical tape if you want to to just give it that little extra support if you're after a screen ribbon or parts you can get them in the link below if you would like to see where I put the screws keep watching I also like to use a handheld Phillips screwdriver so then I can know how tight to do the screws and if I do by happen to get the wrong screw in the wrong place I'll be able to feel that it it's tightening up before it's actually completely screwed in so I'll be able to replace that screw with a small screw or vice versa with a larger one